everyone welcome to nginx video on intellipath have you ever heard about web servers well a web server is a computer that stores online material in general web servers are used to host websites but there are other type of web servers including those for gaming storage ftp email and so forth since the very first web server was launched at the end of 1990 web servers have advanced a lot Today we will talk about one such software that started out as a web server but now it is so much more than that. Before we move forward please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get all updates from us. Now let's take a look at the agenda. First of all we will see what is engines, how does engine works, history, architecture, its key features, its alternative tools and key commands. So let's get started with our first agenda. That is what is Nginx. Nginx is an open source software that can be used for media streaming, caching, reverse proxies, web serving and other functions. It originally began as a web server built for utmost speed and dependability. Nginx may operate as an HTTP server, an email proxy server, a reverse proxy and a load balancer for HTTP, TCP and UDP servers. In addition to serving as an HTTP server, let's move on to our next agenda that is how does Nginx work. Let's examine how a web server operates before learning more about Nginx. The browser contacts the website's web server when someone requests to open a web page. The requested files for the page are then found and sent to the browser by the web server. Only the most basic of requests are made here. The previous illustration is likewise seen as a single thread. Nginx does not operate in the same way as a conventional web server, which spawns a single thread for each request. As previously mentioned, Nginx operates using an event-driven asynchronous design. It indicates that a worker process is used to manage similar threads and that worker connections are the smallest elements that make up each worker process. The management of many requests is then the responsibility of this entire unit. Requests are sent to a worker process via worker connections, which also sends the request to the master process. The master procedure, or the process, then delivers the outcome of those requests. Although it may seem straightforward, one worker connection can handle up to 1024 requests that are comparable. Nginx is able to process thousands of requests without any issue as a result. It's also the reason Nginx, which is great for high traffic websites like e-commerce, search engines and cloud storage, became the fastest web server. Now let's try to learn a bit about its history. So Iger Sisov initially created Nginx to address the C10K problem, which was a term used in 1999 to refer to the difficulties that existing web servers had handling a large number of concurrent connections. Nginx, the fastest web server currently in use, transformed how servers function in high-performance environments with its event-driven, asynchronous architecture. Sysoff co-founded Nginx Incorporation to support the further development of Nginx and to market Nginx Plus as a commercial product with additional features tailored for enterprise customers after opening the project to the public in 2004 and witnessing its use increasing exponentially. In 2019, Engines Incorporation merged with F5 Incorp. Today, more of the busiest websites on the internet are powered by Engines and Engines Plus than any other server and they can handle hundreds of thousands of concurrent connections. Now let's take a look at its architecture. Engines supports an event-driven asynchronous and non-blocking model based on a master-slave architecture. Nginx has been divided into three sections and are named as master, workers and cache. Now let's get a quick rundown of the Nginx components. First we have master. Nginx adheres to the master-slave architecture as was already mentioned. According to the client's desire, it will assign the jobs to the workers. Once the job has been assigned to the workers, the master will go on to the client's next request and not wait for the workers to respond. The master will provide the client with the response as soon as it is received by the workers. 
Let's take a look at workers now. In the Enzing's architecture, workers are slaves who obey their masters. Each worker is capable of single threading more than 1000 requests at once. The response will be sent to the master once the process is complete. By using the same memory space, rather than multiple memory spaces, the single threaded program will reduce the size of the RAM and ROM. The multi-threaded function will operate on various memory locations. Now let's take a look at cache. By reading from cache memory, rather than the server, the engine's cache is used to render the page very quickly. On the first request for a page, the pages are placed in cache memory. Let's take a look at the key features of engines. We have reverse proxy with caching. We have IPv6 load balancing, web sockets, handling of static files, index files and auto indexing. Then we have fast CGI support with caching and lastly URL rewriting and redirection. Now let's take a look at some of the alternative tools. Firstly we have HAProxy. The use of HAProxy, a recognized load balancer and software application delivery controller in conjunction with enterprise class features services, and first-rate support enables businesses to fully benefit from these technologies. Then we have HashiCorp console. Through a DNS or HTTP interface, console makes it simple for services to register themselves and find one another. Then we have traffic. Traffic, which is pronounced similar to traffic, is a cutting-edge HTTP reverse proxy and load balancer designed for quick microservice deployment. To maintain its configuration automatically and dynamically, it supports a variety of backends. Next up, we have Squid Cache, a web caching proxy that supports HTTP. HTTPS and FTP is called Squid Cache. By caching and reusing, it decreases bandwidth and enhances response time. Next up, we have Light TPD. Light TPD is an open source web server that is designed for environments where performance is crucial but still complies with standards, is safe, and is customizable. Next, we have Azure Application Gateway. You may create a scalable and highly available web front end on Azure by using the application level routing and load balancing services provided by Azure Application Gateway. Then we have Apache Tomcat. The Java community process is used to develop Apache Tomcat, an open source software application that implements the Java servlet and Java server pages technologies. Then we have Camp Loadmaster. And lastly, we have and lastly, we have Plesk. Plesk is a cloud-based web hosting control panel that supports more than 26 languages across 140 nations, as well as the operation, automation, and expansion of apps, websites, and hosting enterprises. As of right now, Plesk has partnerships with 50 out of the top 100 service providers globally. With that, we come to our last agenda that is key commands. Firstly, we have start nginx, stop nginx, quit nginx, restart, reload, view server status, test nginx configuration, check nginx version, show command help. And that's it for this video. Thank you. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.